seven. So if you are looking for some inspiration, the 2024 MSP Home Tour is this weekend, and it's a chance for you to tour 23 homes. We have Beatrice Owen, the Executive Director of the National Association of the Remodeling Industry of Minnesota. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So obviously by, by your title there, we're talking about remodeled homes remodeled. here. Correct. We do have a couple of new houses on the tour, but the majority of them are remodeled. Mm -hmm. 23 stops on this tour? 23 stops. There are 21 of them are homes and the other two are some community areas. And Which ones are you yeah. seeing this year? Yeah, so that's a really good question. The ones that we are seeing are storage. We have quite a few with some really good storage. One of them is, I kid you not, it's a drawer you pull it out. They're very outdoorsy family, and they have a drawer that you pull out for the giant water bottles. So strictly for the water bottles, <laughs> just, right? for, just, just, just for the water it? bottles. Right? Wow. If you think about, you know, where you keep those in your in your kitchen. Yeah. So storage is a big one. Smart kitchens are also very popular right now. It allows us to think about our refrigerators and not throw out as much food and uh, conserve energy and whatnot. And then another one is aging in place, thinking or universal design and thinking about our uh, bathrooms, which is mm -hmm. yeah, which is which is always a wonderful thing to do. That green right. home, the green kitchen that we just saw. Can you please tell us more about that? <laughs> Where is it? Isn't that one amazing? Yes, yeah. yes it's so beautiful. Um, and the dining room right next door is green as well, but a different shade. So mm. it's a nice complement mm. to it. So that is out on the far east side. It's over off of McKnight Road. It's at 2228 Margaret Street. And that particular family is very history oriented mm. for their family and mm. so they have a number of items throughout the home that are specific about their families both sides of the family so plates and hooks and a wide variety of items mm -hmm. so this is open and actually homeowners open their homes for this too right? absolutely they do so this is a little different from some of the other homes or mm -hmm. most of the other tours rather so we actually have homeowners that are right there on the tour oh, really? and, yes. so they can answer wow. questions about yes. the process yes. exactly <laughs> which is so key right <laughs> and so uh, the attendees love that to be able to come up and say hey can you tell me about the process yeah. give me the details right. right so that's fun what are the details for this home tour do you need mm -hmm. tickets where can you find the 23 homes nope that's a great question so the uh, you can get details on our website at msphometour.com it is free and self-guided you can create your own as well so you can create your which homes you want to go see um, and then we also have guides that are uh, published and put out around the metropolitan area it's it's crazy some of these trends, but we were talking before that the kitchen, that's still one of the mainstays kitchen, people want to see. Kitchen, yes. It's probably one of the primary places that people will remodel, and especially if right. they're going to hire a contractor because it's important. Mm -hmm. Thinking about the electric and gas and, and whatnot, homeowners don't want to do that themselves. No. No. Right? No, hire a contractor. Um, but our kitchens, that's where we spend so much time, and it is a great opportunity to improve the value of the home, make it more, more user-friendly, right. and uh, have a beautiful space as well. And water bottle storage. <laughs> right? I it's I amazing. Pay big bucks for that. Right? All right, Beatrice, thank you. Thank you. And if you're looking for a full listing of participating homes, you can go to msphometour.com. We'll include a link when we post this video right here of this interview at wcco.com. Earlier, we told you about.